Shalom. Um, I want to make this quick video. I'm going to be straight to the point. Um, there are many people that feel just because we are, well, let me just make it personal. Because I am uh, Yah only, because I am Torah only, because I am Tanakh only, that um, there's no way that I could receive um, atonement or forgiveness of sin because I do not embrace the Mashiach or the Christ or the Savior of the world. And if I do not accept the Christ or the Mashiach or Yehoshua or Yahabashai or Yahushua or Yahushua, then it's no way I could receive um, forgiveness of sin and since I do not receive him then I must be doing animal sacrifices as described in the Torah because it's written in the Torah if you do a transgression if you sin you bring a sacrifice now this is one thing that um, I truly understand when I deal with some people that have this mindset i'm not going to say all of them but some of them reveal that they do not read the hebrew scriptures they do not read the torah they do not read the tanakh they do not read the old testament because it is plainly written in the tanakh that we are only to go to the place where yah has placed his name and where Yah placed his name is not in California. It, it, it wasn't um, New York. It wasn't um, Boston. It wasn't North Carolina. He placed his name in the Holy Land. And it was there where they built the temple. It was there where... They did sacrifices. It was there where they had a functioning priesthood to do the service of the tabernacle as described by Yah. But it is also recorded within the Tanakh if we are not in the land, if we are exiled from the land of promise, that we could humble ourselves, we could confess. We could pray. We could turn from our wicked ways and return back to serving Yah and doing that which is pleasing in his sight. It is written in several places within the Tanakh that God, the Holy One of Israel, will forgive us. And we will bring words to him backed with our actions the the ultimate sacrifice that Yehovah love is a contrite heart you understand that so it's also some people think that we are saying the laws are done away with now which makes no sense since we say we are Torah only we have to understand the laws are not done away with they have not been replaced because of our current situation our current locale and the current situations of what's going on in the land there is no temple it was destroyed there is no function in priesthood we are not in the land of our forefathers and it is plainly instructed to us that we cannot give a sacrifice so that's something that we need to understand as a people and understand that we still have our words to bring before Yahuwah. and He will receive that as if it was an animal sacrifice. That's all I wanted to share at this time. Hallelujah and be at peace Israel. Shalom.